Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is your monthly general reading for the month of July. And because they're general readings, so if they do not resonate, you know what to do. Check your moon rising or Venus. And because, again, they're general readings, so I don't know what is going to be the outcome, okay? Whether it's going to be love, career, finance, focus. I don't know where, what my cards are going to show, so we'll see, okay? If you want love specific, there's July love. If you want finance specific, there's July finance. But this is overall general, okay? Your overall well-being, you as a person. Okay, so Libra. Show me for Libra. Should be a good time. Here you go. Five of Wands in reverse, which is good. Okay. King of Wands. Six of Swords. Okay. Sorry, Four of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Temperance. Three of Cups. Strength, beautiful, beautiful, Libra. Okay. Firstly, in the past, I see you with a five of wands in reverse. So maybe you came out of some conflict. You came out of some, maybe you were putting effort into something which was really not working out for you, was not really serving you. Okay. It was effort going down the drain. You're trying aimlessly to achieve something or to get something which never existed or which never will happen or which is not possible. Trying to achieve the impossible, okay? But I see you in the past coming out of it, accepting it within yourself that, okay, this was a wrong move. This was my mistake. I did the wrong thing. This is not how it's done. It's like you used a spade to row a boat instead of an oar. They both look the same, but one is a spade and one is a an oar. So you realized it later that instead of the oar, you were using the spade. Okay? So that kind of thing. Some mistake which you realized in your past. After that, look at you. You became the king of wands. You started strategizing. Okay? It's about change. You changed. There are chameleons around this king, but this king is doesn't look very happy. He's like somebody who is very skeptical. It's like has started doubting everything, doesn't take everything on face value. No, nobody can fool the Libra anymore. You come and tell them they're no longer that stupid Libra with a five of wands energy. You make them jump and they start jumping. They keep jumping like puppets or jack in the box. And then only to realize I'm just a jack in the box. So now they're like the king of wands. They are like the master of strategy. They're the master of ambition. They know where their goals are and they're going towards it. They have transformed. Okay, there are chameleons around them. So they've transformed. They've changed. But I see with, look at the face of the king. He is like very very skeptical kind of person, okay? Somebody who is not very smiling, happy, kind of confident. He's like skeptical. He's like doubts. There are marks on his forehead. If somebody comes and tells you something, at this point of time, you're like, oh, really? Let me find it out. Let me think of it in my way. Let me evaluate things in my way. That is the kind of energy you are right now. You have stopped taking things and face value. What is happening with you is, or the factor behind you, behind this change, is maybe you took some time off. With the Four of Swords, you took some time off. It was like, okay, peace. It's like break time. You took a break to think. Okay? to think why things are not happening because I see the challenge this month is the wheel of fortune. Things are not turning in your favor. The some blockages keep happening. One blockage as I see with the five of wands it's like one blockage gone, the other blockage is there. One 
bridge you cross, there's another bridge to cross. Okay, so the wheel of fortune is your challenge. And that is maybe because you're a bit laid back, you're not aware of it. Four of swords, this is like taking a break, being laid back. So maybe you're not aware, you are fine, you're skeptical, you're watching things, you're seeing things from a different way, you're planning, you're re-strategizing, it's all fine. But all that is in the mind, right? Who moves about? Who moves? So this, with the four of swords, I think you tend to get a bit lazy. You're like, if somebody can move themselves from me, for me, you know? It's like somebody, if they can move and I can get the result. No, honey, that's not how it works. You got to move. You got to move, Libra. Okay? So, with the four of swords, it could be that you're... You are tending to get a bit lazy. You're like, okay, yeah, I have so much to do. You know, I need to change my life with the Wheel of Fortune. I need to do this. But when it comes to doing, you know what you've got to do. You know you have to be proactive. You know you have to be strategic. You know that you have to play your cards well. You know you have to work on your ambition. But somewhere you're going slow. It's like... Yeah, but I have to do it, you know. So, yeah, you have to do it. Unless you do it, where will you get the result from? You have to change something. So, you have to change it. You know it. Your mind has told you. You're passionate about it. You want the change. But the change is not coming. Because deep down, you're not aware that you are falling lazy. Maybe you're getting lazy. You're like, again, I do I really have to move? Yeah, baby, you have to move. As people see, others' attitude towards you or how they see you is temperance. They see some lack of balance, maybe. They feel you're not emotionally and, you know, your mind and heart are not balanced. Sometimes you're too emotional. Sometimes you're too practical. Sometimes you're very rude and the next moment you're crying. Sometimes you're like, so there's no balance. Maybe people see that lack of balance in you with temperance here. This is how external factors, okay, people's attitude. Okay, so all people feel you need healing. Okay, maybe you're, as I said, you, you have that vision. I have to do this, I have to do that. But when it comes to making a decision, you're lazy with the four of swords. It's like, do I? Can somebody choose it for me, please? It's like that, okay? And that's the reason your challenge this month is, why are things not moving in my favor? Why is it that I'm getting roadblocks? And people, you know, maybe your friends, your family or your colleagues, they tell you, you know what? You need to be balanced. You cannot be like this. What is it that you really want? Sometimes you're crying. Sometimes you're laughing. Sometimes you're rude. Sometimes you're detached. What is it? So they feel maybe you're not, there's a lack of balance, okay? Whereas you are Libra, you would like to balance things as you go. What you need to do, Libra, this month is network, okay? Get together with friends, spend some good time with friends, family, three of cups. Enjoy your life, okay? Loosen up. You need to loosen up a bit. Go enjoy your life. You've been too high strung, I feel... You know, from this five of wands, coming to this realization that I've been doing the wrong thing for a long time now. And now I need to be strategic. I need to correct things. But somewhere that physical energy is not coming inside you. That mental energy, there's a lack of energy. You're like you know everything, but now you don't know. You don't feel like implementing it. There is where you're feeling low on energy. So to bring it back, to bring you back into that, you know, to pump you up, your mind, your spirit, to pump them up, you need to start networking. Connect with friends, connect with family, build new network, connect with people who make you happy. Go have some few drinks, be happy, go spend time with people, connect, reach out to people, okay? With three of cups, reach out. If there's a problem, you want a solution, if you cannot think of it, if you're feeling stuck, 
reach out. Don't be so closed up. Don't be so with the temperance. People feel sometimes they could feel that you're too balanced or you need balance. So again, very closed off or you have no control over your emotions. So don't be that. Reach out to people. Spend time with them. Just giggle. Just laugh. Just spend the day shopping. Okay? Because if you can do that, you're going to get that strength back. You're going to get that willpower back. Right now, I feel it's all about willpower. This month, you simply don't have the willpower. You know you have to do so many things, but you don't have the willpower to do it. That can come towards you, and that will come towards you. With the strength here, as by the end of July, when the sun moves to um, Leo, Leo would be your 11th house, you will start feeling that willpower, because 11th house is all about future planning and all that, so you'll have that motivation back. Okay? That willpower, that willingness to stand for your beliefs, that willingness to fight off all the anxiety and mental pain you're going through. I see that coming towards you, but provided you need to reconnect, you need to open up, okay? You need to network, you need to socialize with people. Go meet people. Don't be closed up. Go meet people. Have some fun with your friends, family. Take a vacation. Go for a drive. Go out for an ice cream. Enjoy time with people. Surround yourself with people, okay? Right now, I think it's this is the lack of willpower which you're facing. Not that you don't have the idea. You have the idea. Not that you don't have the passion. You have the passion. But it's just that you don't have the willpower. You, you feel the lethargy. You feel lazy, okay, to move yourself. So you need to connect with people so that you can get that energy back. Okay? Or maybe this could mean three glasses of Red Bull is what you need, baby, to get you moving. All right. That was a joke. Don't go and start drinking Red Bull. And Minerva told me to drink three Red Bulls. And here I am. And now I can't sleep at night. Don't do that. Okay? Because I know Libras love somebody else to decide for them. So don't, please, not me. <laughs> All right, Libra, let's see what my other tarot wants to tell you. What should my Libras focus on? What should my Libras focus on? All right. What should my Libras focus on? Ripeness, focus on your prosperity. Focus on your career growth. Focus on things that have ripened in your life. Okay? And participation. What did I tell you? Three of Cups is about networking. Four of... This is more like the Four of uh, Wands. So this is about participation. Go. Maybe you need to participate. If people are going for a vacation, you can join them. If people are going for the swimming, you can go. If people, if, if your friends have planned a shopping day out or a swimming day out or a camping weekend off, go participate in that. Focus on the rightness, okay? Focus on your own abundance. Focus on your happiness. Have the willpower. Right now you have the mind, you, you have the strategy in your mind, but things are not changing because you're not focusing on your things that you have. You're not focusing on your happiness or abundance that you have. And you're not participating. You're not connecting. So you're feeling so left out at the end of the day. You feel so low. You're like, I don't know what to do. I don't feel like. I don't feel like dressing up. I want to be in my pajamas the entire day. That is your kind of energy. But if you can start reconnecting, you'll get your strength back, okay? Because it's a very powerful month for you, Libra. How much you can get out? Because right now the sun is and sun, Mars, Venus, everything is in your 10th house. How much you can push and get the best out of it depends on how much you can participate and reconnect or get together with friends and people. Okay, surround yourself with people. All right, Libra, this is all I can see for you this month. However, please to check your weeklies for more clarity. Please comment, like and subscribe if you are new. And see you again with new readings. Till then. Stay positive. Bye.